Hello everyone, today we're going to create a car rig using VRF Plus Pro. Let's get started. First, we need to prepare the car model, and here we've divided it into several part objects to make the rigging process easier. There's a body object. Then there's the steering object, which will rotate when the steering control is moved left or right. Next, we have four wheels objects. Wheel back left, wheel back right, wheel front left, and finally, wheel front right. Okay, we'll start by setting up the meta rig. Begin by creating the route by pressing Shift plus A. Go to Armature, then Build Vehicle Rig, then Add Root. Name the Meta Rig, here we'll name it Mimi Car, then press OK. You will see a root bone with a widget. Next, we'll turn on In Front, which you can find in the viewport display. This will make the bone widget appear in front of the object, making the editing process easier. Then, we'll adjust the parameter size X and Y so that the widget fits as we want it to. When the root bone selection is active, you'll see in the part section, there are several bones we can display as children of what we've selected. To help understand the function of each part we can reveal, for those who are new, you can activate the Show Help button. If activated, a question mark icon button will appear next to every button or property. Okay, right now what we need is the main body to proceed after the root bone. When the main body is selected and active, you will see many part bone buttons that can be spawned from here. And to know their function and usage, you can press the help button on each button. Okay, let's proceed with setting up the main body. When deciding where to position the main body, you can place the bone slightly above the center of both front and back wheels. This is to make the rotation during suspension more closely resemble a normal car. Next, we'll adjust the parameters according to our preferences, such as determining the size of the widget for the main body and setting the height of the suspension control to make it easier for the user later on. If you want to know what body suspension is, you can press the help button to learn about its function and usage. Pressing the escape key will exit the help mode. Okay, let's move on to the next step. We're going to reveal the steering control from the main body bone. Before that, we can also check what its function and usage are by pressing the help button. Let's try revealing the steering control bone, then adjust its position to make it easy to find. Then go back to select the main body bone to reveal a part called the steering rotation handle. You can press the help button to learn more about what the steering rotation handle is, its function, and its usage. Okay, let's reveal it. And start positioning it as we desire. Before that, you can see there's a red line between the steering rotation handle and the steering control, meaning they are connected. But if we uncheck the Use Steering Rotation checkbox, the steering control bone changes color, indicating that it's not functional or has an error. Okay, let's proceed to position the steering rotation handle as we want, and to make it easier, let's temporarily hide the body object from the viewport.
We can also adjust the position of the widget. Once we're satisfied with the positioning of the steering rotation handle, we'll go back to select the main body bone to reveal the wheel part bone. Then reveal the wheel bone on the left side and don't forget to activate Use Wheel Steering since we're working on the front wheel bones. Position the wheel front left bone at the center of the wheel front left object. As you can see, the wheel isn't perfectly perpendicular to the ground, so we'll follow how the wheel is positioned. To enable rolling, we need to disable the Roll Align to Zed Up parameter on the wheel so it can be rotated using the shortcut Control plus R. We'll adjust the thickness to match the wheel object. and make adjustments to the X-Ground Sensor Offset to get the outermost position of the wheel. Then rename it to WheelFront.L. Lastly, We'll adjust the axis parameter of the steering rotation, which will control the axis rotation when turning right or left. Okay, it looks like the wheel front left bone setup is complete. Now we'll duplicate it for the wheel back left. Rename it to wheelback.l. Of course, since the wheelback left doesn't need steering rotation, we'll disable that. Okay, the left side wheels are done. We can create symmetry by selecting both and pressing the Symmetrize Selected button in the MetaRig tool. Finally, the meta rig is done. Now we prepare to generate the rig. Before that, I'll save it so we can access it again if there are any mistakes. Now we'll proceed to generate the rig. We now have the final rig from the meta rig we created. However, the objects are still not following the rigging yet, so we can start the process of parenting the objects to the bone deforms provided. We need to press the Set Initial Start Position button the next step is to activate only the deform layer. Select which bones you want to parent the objects to. Then go to the Set Bone Parent panel, press the plus button, and follow the video. All the parent lists are already there. Activate Display Bone Target to show a widget in the viewport, then select the object to be the child of the target bone and press Set Parent. Oops, we forgot the steering rotation handle. 
Okay, let's add it to the list by selecting it and pressing the plus button. Then select the steering object and set the parent. Okay, the parent setting process is done. Now we return the layer display as desired. Happy test driving, see you next time.